welcome back to MDK Reacts. We do episode number three from Mushuko Tente. Last episode, Rudy graduated. Roxy has left the village. I'm about to find out what happened next. Mo, he doesn't like our main character because he's a pedophile. But at the same time, he's a pedophile, so I can't make. So we're about to jump in episode number three. If you don't have to do if you like that, we're going to make sure you like, subscribe, comment below for our Mushuko Tente playlist. You can know if I will upload this video next episode. It's starting to get three, two, one. Mo doesn't keep your game as a chance. He a little kept her underwear, bro. That's so kind of crazy, but at the same time, it's Rudy. <laughs> oh, starting my new life. Oh, you don't want to start my life. Thankfully, he's forty right now. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> This is young ass parents because I have not seen any gray hair. I have not seen the older than it looks like. This nigga is like 22. He's falling like. He's not five. He's like falling. He's Wow. 
because kids sons. I can't believe this op is. I can't believe the op is making everyone else look stupid. These are these sons. This is not right. Maybe or not, but at least he's smart. Little kids are more mature than this now. You're 39! 
Well, nah, it's, it's fruit basket. It's supposed to be like that. That's, that's no, it's not. Basket. Fruit basket is supposed to be dark. Uh, it literally has it has one of the nominated antagonists of the year. So I'm gonna go ahead and ignore that. But uh, okay, <laughs> this is definitely a different type of world where it's uh, it, it's been it's been to get it's been to get bad. It's gonna get bad. Yeah, I mean. Whatever he loses, he deserves, so. Oh, wow. Wow! But does he deserve it? But what about the people in the world? Do they deserve it? No. But, I mean, it, it, oh, this is his story, though. Oh, God, thank you. This isn't his story. And he don't deserve to find love in this world. He don't. Well, I mean, like, he is 39, so any way he looks at in a romantic interest, it should be over <coughs> the age of 18. Both oh, shit. Or over the age of 15 in this world. Well, <laughs> I guess it, uh, I guess it does slide in this world. No, no, no. He a man. He a real man. Who a man? It's 18, bro. Oh, wow. Word. <laughs> not like, he said, I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna like, it's not 18, I'm gonna do something. So let's yeah. talk about that gray rat family. You saw how important it is to the father. How important do you think that is to the story, though? But the father oh, ran away. Uh, yeah, the father seems like he ran away. He never even got to say sorry to his old man. He ran away, and then he probably became a knight, because uh, when he was bullying those kids, they said, uh, that's the knight's kid. Or maybe he was a knight, and he ran away, and then he mm. uh, made something to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, that probably makes more sense. Yeah, like, oh, it's like the runaway night and they clean. And it's it's like, like all the ladies are trying to see him. You see me? That nigga Swartz is elite. You can't hate on that. Yeah, well, can't can't hate. Can't hate. Definitely can't, but I definitely feel like there's going to be somebody who's going to come and say, uh, so you're the you're the runaway night, huh? Fight me. Slice that nigga straight down the middle. Oh God! He, oh God! He's he, he, no, he, he definitely gonna die though. For some, for some. Uh, I think you die for some development. I don't think you do. How do you feel about Rudy being able to break out of his little cage and be able to go outside? Um, I mean, like in terms of getting over trauma, I I think I think that was like a good way of showing it. It's, right. Like I said, it's really hard for me to. It's really hard for you to like this character because he's a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like that? If I never would have told you, if I never would have told you that I was a little girl, then you wouldn't even be saying that. Uh, but I mean, like, yeah, but thank, thank, thank you. You told me yeah. that. Like Griffin. What's that, Griffin? What's the character? Oh, I think Griffin fuck like a fifteen year old. I don't say, I don't say like Griffin. No. I say he's a good villain. Ah, <laughs> you favorite character here. I don't know. There's a lot of good characters. Yeah. Name one. Name one. Uh, Who's gonna name the nigga Super. from Mega Man? Oh, 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 Subaru was fucking Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's talk about it. Wait, Subaru was fucking Phil. Good water story. That's your man's, right? Uh, that's what that's is story. That's a what is story. That's a what is story. So it's canon. That's crazy. What the hell? That's Sorry. crazy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but Moo. That's yeah. your man's. But since we mentioned Vagabond. Uh, Musashi definitely what? didn't care. <laughs> I don't even say anything about Vagabond. He mentioned nah, Vagabond. I don't say he's going to name a nigga for Vagabond. <laughs> Musashi a good character too. Musashi, Musashi, Musashi. Musashi makes people stupid. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so that was episode 3 of Mushoku Tente. Episode 4, you guys already know. Get... <laughs> episode 4, you guys already know. Story starts to pick up more a little. And we find out more about the family itself, so... We're going to have to save that for next time. So you know what to do if you like the top part. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Turn post notifications on the ring that bell. N-V-K out.